Hello, my beautiful people. Um, you get video I want show now. Um, this is not related to politics, but you know, saying a crime and controversy now be this channel. Um, so guys, I don't know this video where I was. So even me, I did confused. Is this a case of domestic violence or a case of rituals or a case of a? Uh, I don't even know what I go call up. Very weird guy. Uh, uh, case of madness because the way the guy do they talk. <laughs> I mean, police don't make an colo. Anyway, I'll give you my own viewpoints at the end. And uh, just watch the video. <laughs> and let me know your thoughts. Don't be smart, though. Know, this is Nigeria uh, violent crime. Okay, what is your name? Uh, my name is Abankolo Luwale. You are from where? I'm from Akure. What is your occupation? My occupation is uh, I'm a football coach. We are? Kiki Bankoli Sports Academy. What happened? Between you and the disease. The disease on Saturday, she called me that um, she need my help because I have been helping her for a long time. Anytime she's in need of money, need my ex, and I asked her to come to my daddy's house. And and then um, and the moment she got there, I offered coke. I went to go and buy coke too. I bought you. She's not even drink the coke when she slumped. And, then, and when she slumped, I, I was scared. I don't know what to do. So, and that made me to take some, or, 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 I mean, after decision, or that I take. What decision did you What did decision did you take? Okay, this was I did this. First, I was thinking I pour her hot water. Yes, pour her hot water with, with the hope that she will, she will, she will wake up. With, I was. with your knowledge as yes. a coach, yes, sir. I knew I know that we are no at least first aid. Yes, yes. If somebody slump, is hot water is the normal thing to pour. Yes, sir. I, I, I first I give out the cold water because I was thinking maybe it's giving. Yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, of course. I I first give out uh, cold water. Answer the question. Yeah, okay, the question. Is the hot mm -hmm. water was the right thing to do to pour on the person that's blunt? The no. answer is either yes or no. No. Okay, apart from that up. one. Yes. Apart from that one, because why did you tie the legs and the hand? Thank you, sir. It's like when the whole thing that's happened and I was I was very scared, doesn't know what to do again. I'm the one that tied the legs. Then I also cut I cut it. I thought maybe I can go and uh, put it uh, somewhere because uh, I was scared. Why okay, you, why when you scared, when you scared, yes. why did you open the stomach? You dissect the stomach and you remove the intestine to do what and why? Sir. You didn't cut any other part no. than the intestine and the private part. Yes, because I wanted to uh, to cut into the so I can put it inside bags. So I did not. I, the somebody that's work. scared about somebody died. Can that person open the stomach of somebody and remove the intestine? So it's because I was very scared. I was powerless and I was afraid of the police. So okay. That's what I wanted to. I do this. Okay. The wound in your mouth. Yes. And in your head. Forehead. Yes. In your forehead. It was when. And the leg as well. Yes. Okay. What happened? The it you? was when the people came. His brother came and uh, some of the well wishers they don't attack me in the leg. I mean, in the uh, because in the head, when they saw the you, they saw that you have the wound and you have other no. blood in your body. No, why? I did not have any. What happened is that uh, when they came, they are the one that attacked me in the head that I'm having this. Uh, this one Where did they arrest you? In my daddy's house. When the incident happened, where are, you, are your parents? My parents is a trader. So we are a day when they are in the market in the night. No, this thing happened one o'clock. So they came one back from the night. When? Uh, where, where? One o'clock in the afternoon. So my okay. parents came back by eight o'clock in my daddy's house. Your house. Where was the daddy's house located? Um, Danjuma side. That is your house. The children they said that you called their mother yesterday night. Huh? And you called their mother yesterday night. That's what the children they are here now. They say you called their mother yesterday night. She was okay, sir. She was the first to call me. At what time? 
she called me around uh, 8 o'clock. She has been calling me. In the night? Yes. If you will excuse me, when he call you around 8 o'clock in the night, yes. eh? which time is not? Which time you open the stomach? Which time you remove the oh, intestine? It was, he called me on Friday that they should be coming on Saturday. She called me last on Friday. What guys asking you? Say what time did you remove operate. the operate, operate the, you do the, you the, the, the something. Operation. I did it right? this morning. What time? That was around the, um, around the 9 o'clock. This morning? Yes. Yes. And the odor, the yes. smell has been coming out. That's why the, this morning. Sir? Okay. No, the odor did not come. It, it was when I removed this thing that I was scared that, that uh, I mean, when I removed it, it's when the odor uh, started coming. Even by the time I opened it, my friend has already even gone to church. Okay. You so, need it to do what? Sir? You did the operation to do what? I did not do it for any purpose. You said you to go and move the private farm. Nobody sent me. And you it did was, it. I did it to cover you, myself. You did it to cover yourself? Yes. That's you did it to cover yourself. Even though know from where I know I'm going to face the music, I'm just yes, to You did it to cover yourself? Yes, to cover you myself. You know that this uh, 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 it, 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 it's a wounded something for you? Yes, of course I know. You deliberately have it? No, you I did don't. Definitely. I... Hello, my beautiful people. Uh, now, don't watch the video now. I don't go lie, even me way they watch the guy confused. I don't even know where see the guy they go. I be the guy don't colo. I be just the pretend see he don't colo. By the time police go give him a talk and uh, do. You understand? You get one small movie while I watch when I did small. They carry light I put for in uh, John Thomas. By the time they carry light I put him, he go confess what it happened. Um, but I don't know. In this kind of case, how it is be the best way police feel extract this information? Do you think, say, all these brutal way would they use get information from uh, criminals? You think, say, not the best solution? Or you notice, say, you get other ways, like uh, maybe using things like lie detector machine, using psychological ways to extract information from um, people who really commit crime. Because I know, say, this guy now, police go all torture him. You understand? I just they give my own view on this matter. Because me, I know if he even really talk, but I the sense, say, na human rituals, because why he opened the woman's stomach? Eh? That's why men need to be careful of, especially when you the date person, ask them of in, of in childhood. Most people will not get good childhood, now they turn to violent people, and they tell you. Most people we are not all saying no, they happen for people who say we they comfortable, but uh, most people will get very bad childhood, they, they turn out to be violent people. And uh, another thing I want to be say, um, the government, all this why for Nigeria, violent crime, they happen up and down. Why they never, you know, waiting be the essence of people where they call themselves doctor, doctor, masters and PhD. Waiting, why the government know and uh, empower some professors, may they do comprehensive research for the six zones, you know, different people for their zone, may they find out, you know, go prisons, go ask prisoners. So waiting be the cause of this domestic crime. But me, generally, most of us feel just as, as you say now, poverty. You understand? In a way, poverty they link to them because poverty they lead to extreme crime. But we really need to know what in be the this thing because no need to the for countries to say ah I be masters, I be PhD, I be and we know if you really get you know proper research, you know, based on this matter. If you ask me, I feel you see everything still they link to poverty and government neglect because people will come from um, better neighborhoods and better environments. They tend to commit less crime. Like if you check now, if you compare like a Jebule, since I won't use Lagos, since now the most popular state from Nigeria. You know, compare Jebule and uh what you call it, Mikoyi. I feel to say Ikoyi go get lesser crime. You understand? Ikoyi uh, go get lesser crime. Now even without even carrying out a study. Because the children there they they comfortable, they, they live large. So what you won't make them they commit violent crime. Except say maybe for the home where they grow up, they experience domestic violence. So Family background and uh, the environment where they live, they really matter how person they really turn out to life. And if you get a very sad childhood and maybe you don't get any religious affiliation, there's a very great tendency, say, uh, if you commit violent crime. Like most people, we come from Christian homes where they grounded. Um, I'm not to say you know they happen, no, but you will find out, say, I, most times, even Pastor Pekin, we don't go astray. Most type of crime where they commit now, nah, um, sexual crimes. But you hardly hear say that the uh, maybe sexual, you know, they sleep, they impregnate one woman or sexual scandal. But you hardly hear say that the 
uh, commit go the chuck person knife or get that liver because their background that background upbringing where they get they very important so um like you know if he has if he also talks in some religion self they encourage violence you understand or they encourage people to grow angry so um like for me from based on studies why i don't find out i find i say religion like buddha they encourage peace but i know to know in depth of the religion and the superficial one why they see like see they encourage peace and peace with nature and peace but if you also get their coma because i also don't watch documentaries with some buddha priests who just the wire some of the small children waiting for the buddha temple you understand so i don't know Sha, this whole crime this whole crime but we need to really check Obi, Pete Obi don't go prison, don't say in uh, poverty. But in this paper, what they call these human rituals and all this, this thing? Now, violent crime have been agreed. The government no need to only go, the, go after the solution will be killing of criminals. They need to go find out the source of what they cause these people to be gangsters and everything. And you know, say society where uh, corruption and um, where they pr- preach uh, materialism. Yeah, it really lead to people to to they go crazy. But even in the case of materialism, if you argue for case of Dubai, people they flaunt towards. Yeah, I never hear a person go they do rituals. I've been a culture, I've been at the upbringing, I've been at societal values, I've been a the poverty. Because in a in a country maybe say I feel guess say for India, any country we get extremes. Maybe violent crime the extreme we maybe see extremes there between uh, rich and poor, like you will see South Africa. No matter how infrastructurally developed South Africa, they you see sick violence crime they there because they get extremes, they get very rich and very poor. They go they live side by side. So I don't know, Sha. Just I feel say government need to do proper research. The six zones, you know, same professors, they will go prison, go, do comprehensive data, get uh, prisoners of like how many prisoners? You understand? Uh, without any inducement, maybe if now one thousand or two thousand prisoners or five thousand, just comprehensive, they say more oh, really know then. They go know how to go for the solution. But Nigeria and our country will be say, you know, if we ever see them looking for the source of the problem, uh, you know, ever see them using the education education where people get, using that to get out information, you know, go see them do, you know, go see them do things with the proper, everybody know they do like uh, a mad person, mad society. So what will be the essence of all the masters and PhD we will not, Nigerians always make noise, say, ah, we, 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 they educated. Me, I never see the, importance for this in our politicians just did they just the squander money you understand now the educational people supposed to enjoy for nigeria so but country they did value education which it is it will happen everybody go turn gangster now you know uh, so guys let me know your thoughts what do you think say because even good people feel even go crazy that's the funny thing uh, what do you think say we cause this thing and i notice say i'm sorry to say like i don't mention crimes on this channel um for southwest a lot of uh, human rituals they always go on for them now they are believe because a lot of yoruba people believe in uh, uh this uh, all these uh, traditional gods now they are linkage to that in the course of, so, you know if you argue for the cocaine issue we they prevalent for southeast maybe say many boys they go carry amala they go overseas abina for not na boko haram waiting they cause all these violent crimes waiting be the root cause and let me know that thoughts which you think about this guy case and you know how the face of this some of these problems